We're trying to grow our leaders, our farmer leaders, and having them have the basic understanding of trade and how they can get involved and how they can communicate with their neighbors and advocate for trade is really important to our mission and important to the farmers uh, and their farming operation as a whole. The U.S. Grains Council workshop today is just a good course that tells you exactly where your money's going, how they're trying to make it better, where they're using the money to get the best bang for the buck. Because in a world market like this, we have to have market access and that's what U.S. Grains does and that's what they're teaching us today, how they're doing that, bringing it through to the future to get us more exports. Minnesota Corn Research and Promotion Council and the North Dakota Corn Council were at a joint meeting and we started discussing what we could work on together and we came up with this idea of having a trade school. So this came to be about two years ago but then COVID came and we had to pause. I was a big promoter of this a couple of years ago before COVID hit. I was talking to North Dakota Corn about having one of these in Minnesota and I'm so thankful that uh, they decided to be the first one back after COVID. We are pleased to be the first trade school back in session uh, as everything has back opened up and this trade school is today, we've got about 50 people here. Not only do the farmers have a chance to hear from our experts in Washington DC like the U.S. Grains Council or the head of uh, Northern Crops Institute, not only do they get that opportunity but they also have a chance to network with other farmers, farmers from Minnesota today uh, as well as farmers from their own state and they learn from each other how trade impacts their farming operation. Yeah, I think it's a getting a message across here. You know, it'd be nice to, for more people to hear it. You know, it, it comes, if there was twice as many here, it'd be that great. It'd be twice as many people to promote for us. But we have to be able to make sure that we, we're getting these exports out. We're opening up new markets and getting rid of our products so that we can use all the product we have and produce more and get a better money for bottom dollar. I think today was a smashing success. I am absolutely thrilled with today. Uh, it's been great participation from the farmers, so we're very pleased with today, very happy with the event.